Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Y2! Last time we defeated the Opelousis Hater Gym and its leader, Drayden, so now Drayden is going to tell us what he knows about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. I'll show you the way. Follow me! Um, thanks, I guess? Even though I know where it is, it is right, oh, well of course, where Drayden said, this way. I thank you very much, he... I wouldn't even have known that he was here. We're here! Okay, come inside. You could've just went ahead and gone in there while you went from over here to over here, but, um, not, I won't say anything. It's Pokemon logic, you know. Yay! Story time! Let me tell you the story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two Dragon Pokemon were awakened. The White Dragon Pokemon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the Black Dragon Pokemon, Sekram, pursued what is ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshiram and Sekram were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single Dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon splits his body into a white Pokemon and a black Pokemon, even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Kyurem, also came into existence in that era. And there may be proof of this to be found in our treasure passed down in my family for generations, the DNA Splicer. Professor Universe research determined that the materials in the Splicer date back to the same era as the materials used in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA Splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more Dragon Pokemon, even if Kyura really exists? We don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon, the, po the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon split into, are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kyura exists, could it be just a husk, a shell that was left over? Hmm. What was that sound? Well, it sounded like an explosion to me! What was that? This world of ice. The ice men cometh. Let's kick some ice. Revenge is a dispatcher called Freeze. Do you know who the snowman worships? Freeze us! I am a terrible human being, I know. Hexorus, use Dragon Tail! Well, I failed miserably. That's enough, Maxorus! Not only did I stay unbroken, that's not even a scratch on it! What's going on? Where are the shabby? Where are the? Oh! 
I don't think that's going to work. I remember you from Anne's castle. It's bitter cold. You should be hung, my friend. I'm shivering. I'm suffering. But I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. This ice was special, 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 specially created by Team Plasma Cell Technology because I can't say specially. Right. As long as we have our secret weapon, we'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splicers. Opposite the city is a city where the past and the future are entwined. Could it be a more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokemon? Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago would just hand them over quietly? Hmm, that's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another folly advice. But we can't use it for a moment. Sorry. It won't be enjoyable in this call, but I guess we'll just search for them. Those foul villains! And I have no idea how he managed to change his accent all that many times. Emily, I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelousa City. Oh man, oh man! But before... Well, we do that? Let me just go to the Pokemon Center and heal up real quickly. Okay, we are now healed up, so let's see who do we have in front. Umi? Yeah, let's go with Umi. Let's go with Umi, shall we? I've been nursing a grudge for two years, old man. Even if this is the first time I've battled you, battled you. That old guy won't hold back, even if his opponent is a young girl. Oh, really? But you know. I lost. I didn't stand a chance. Can't believe Hexer is blasting me all the way over here. Really? I thought you were Team Plasma, not Team Rocket. Uh, we could head over there if we want to, but we want to thrive out. Team Plasma, our opposition today. Pokemon are pawns. They're a means to an end. That's what I was taught. Don't think about it too much. It's easier that way. Yeah, remember kids. If you don't think about things too much, Everything will just work out fine. Anyway, we are going to battle level 44 Watchog here. And I don't know, will this Watchog know uh, Crunch? It might actually do that, so I'll just, uh, I'll just do the same thing and go in. Okay! He switches to into Mach. Okay, that, that can actually work out in my favor because Kratos uh, packs a punch with Bone Rush. So, I'll just throw a couple of bones at him and uh, see what happens. Okay, that was only two hits. Uh, that's most of oh, no! Oh, I... I already don't like you, Muck. Let's go with another bone rush. Right in it. Where the nose is supposed to be. Ah, uh, okay. I think one more... One more bone rush should be able to deal with uh, Muck. If I'm just able to hit it. Come on, Bone Rush! Bone Rush! One, two, yeah, there we go. Mako's down. And that's pretty sweet. And now we got... Let's uh, watch our back, back again. Back again, but it doesn't even matter because I could just force bomb it. And take it out in one solid single hit. Excellent, Kratos. You lit up. You knocked up my stupid bombs! How can this be? Is, the, is that the kind of power Pokemon I have when they're not treated like object? Oh, I started to think that could be bad for you. You know what? You know what happens when Team Plasma uh, is starting are starting to think. Yeah, the, yeah, that ba basically means the end of the world. Oh, that's oh, they can't. They're trapped in there. It's a trap. And it's of course blocked off over there. Don't get in our way, you bother! 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 I can't believe it's not bother! 
Anyway, we got another battle with another Team Plasma Grunt here, and she's going to go with uh, level 44 Golbat. And you know what? I do pack Psychic, which, as probably you all know, is going to be super effective against the Golbat. Yeah, okay, was that a critical late? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, this is, go this is going to be a be breathe through. Breathe through. It's especially if it's a size to use uh, mean look on me. But there we go, Golbat goes down, and that will level up Umi to level 42! Alright, next up is a Garbodor. Yay! The of course, as I've probably said in the past, in my opinion, this is the silliest looking Pokemon of all time. I mean, why? Okay, why? Okay, and it just clears smog and it got disabled. It's Umi's amazing power! Oh no! Why did you have to use Toxic? Really? You have to. Well, of course. Of course, you had to do that. Go with another psyche. Slot bomb. Why would you use clear smog in the first place? I have no idea. But uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain because it probably would have done a little bit more damage with slot bomb if he decided to use that. Ah, glaive, stupid fool, plasma. <laughs> How humiliated! Being bothered by a bother. Botherception. Dum dum dum. Well, let's give an ice cream to Umi. Ah, yeah. That ice cream, yeah. That works good, yeah. Anyway, let's see. Apollo and Umi are the only ones that are... That is the lowest level of members of my party. So, I'll stick with them for now. Blocked over there. How about the gym? There doesn't seem to be anything interesting in there. They do seem to be out of the cold, though. I came from over there. No matter, no, okay. You! This time, we'll take over the Unova region. You! You're, you're trembling already? From fear or from cold? Here is good! Oh, how dare you! How dare you insult me like that! Anyway, we got a survive paw here. Well, for the fourth survivor, and uh, of course, I have Umi up in front. Which means. <gasps> Psychic! I'm actually faster than it. How is a yellowfish faster than a snake again? I don't know, but I won't complain about it. And I resist poison jab, but. Of course, I got poison. Yay, what else would happen? Me not getting poison? <laughs> well, that would just be silly. There we go. The Viper goes down, and yay! Level 43! And let's see, next up on this roster is going to be a Weezing! I'm just going to go into Apollo here. I'm pretty sure Apollo can take a hit from Weezing. Well, maybe if it's not uh, Explosion or Self Destruct, but uh, any other move uh, Apollo should take fine. Yeah, especially when it misses, misses the move it's trying to use on me. There we go, takes it out, and defeat it. The plate, I will not give up on justice for Team Plasma. That is all. Now that you mention it, I think I might have been ordered to come, the, come, come, the Pokemon Gym. Hey, you don't say that. Uh, what am I going to use? Uh, yeah, uh, fully, I don't know why I clicked on the berry use. There we go, full heal on Umi! <laughs> okay, sorry about that, I got interrupted for a second there. Uh, let's switch up all to the front of the party, and... Let's do this! Uh, let's, head, let's head over to the left here, and uh, no! We're not heading over there. Not quite yet. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there was nothing down there. No matter. No matter. Ah, I think we've gone all the way around. Yeah, yeah. The only one left is Sinsalin of the Seven Sages. 
Where could he be? Oh, what's going on at the Pokemon Gym? Oh my god, I guess we're heading over there now. Now they've defeated all the grunts that are over here. Well then. Oh yeah, yeah, he's definitely over here now. Oh, for crying out loud! I didn't expect to have to fight tempered by cold like this. Well, I guess then he can say, This condition has left me cold. Well, no matter. The fact that I'm shivering means I'm truly alive! Oh, sorry about that, I don't know what. I accidentally turned off my speakers there when I got interrupted. I don't know why, but anyway, we're going to be battling. Simsolin and this Cryogonal, level 46, pure ice type. Mainly focused on special defense, so... That's only logical to just go with the side shock. It how is that logical that he has slash? I honestly have no idea how a Cryogonal could have, like, claws or just slash in the first place. I I don't even know. I won't. I won't even try to uh, explain that one. But anyway, next up on his roster is actually going to be his most powerful Pokémon on his team. Well, at least in terms of level levels, and it's going to be V Weavile level 48 Ice Dark type. So that means it's for the weak against Fighting type moves. So, yeah, it's not going to stand as chance against Kratos. I mean, look at that Weavile. It just it just didn't even stand a chance as Kratos scores up to level 44. It's pretty great, I would say, and Kragonol again. I'm just going to make it easy for me and the same way Kratos. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, yes, let's go for another fourth bomb, and it's actually faster than me. Uh, what? Uh, I guess Kragonol's uh, base speed is actually pretty high. Yeah. A special offensive wall with high speed? I don't know if that's really that smart. Have you gotten even stronger than you were in Lock on Town? Hmm, such a brief moment of time. Well, I'm just too powerful for you. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave, simply because I just can't stand this cold. But imagine this a you know a region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, We'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicer. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokémon also. After all that, the least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Harumph! That's a new wreck for my game. There and back. Look, Emily. These are the DNA Splicers! Yay! This is what they were after! We're really fortunate Team Plasma to get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. As we suspected, the hiding place was in the gym. Well thought out. If Draden isn't here, there, we can't get in. If he is there, he's the strongest guard we could possibly face. That also explains why the Pokemon gym was remodeled. Whatever. The DNA specials are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think you'd use one of the seven stages to find out where the splices were. Now you know then. We'll accomplish our goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we will bend people to our will. Will with brute force. Two years was a surprisingly long wait. If they've been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back. Oh my god! Is that actually true? We have to get them back! Yarg! Okay, I don't know why I'm going around this way. I. That, that is. Yeah. No! Out! Okay, Drayden! 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 Okay. Why could he even slide there? I don't know. Drayden! There you are, Drayden! I. Just went around in a circle. They don't seem to be in this area. However, they can hide your presence to so be on guard as you look. Oh my god, where could it be? Not over there. 
But I do believe they might be on the other side. The other side. Yeah! Hehe! <laughs> you don't really think you can take the DNA splashes back, do you? Oh, you. Oh, oh ho! We're going to be battling one of the Shadow Triads, I see. He's there! No, he's there! No, or. He's not there, but now he's here, and that was what I was trying to say, but whatever. We got a Pawniard here, level 46. And, uh, unfortunately, it's something that uh, Apollo won't be able to handle. By the way, did, uh, did, uh, did they heal up my Pokemon? I think they did. Well, Drayden did, I think. So, let's just use Force Palm. And they take out the Pawniar in one solid single hit. Just didn't stand any chance. And uh, next up is an Absol, okay. Pure Dark type, very good physical attacker, but uh, it's a really frail, frail, uh, it's not, or it's pretty frail, so okay, maybe, maybe it was not as frail as I would have thought, but. Uh, since I use a sword stance, but since it's paralyzed and I'm faster anyway, I'm just going to be able to take it out with this sword bomb. So here we go. At least it's Shadow Trier training with only one Pokemon Rain remaining, and it's a Pawniard, another Pawniard. Well, that was not too shabby, I would say. Pretty much destroy this uh, Shadow Triad uh, guy, girl. I don't know. It. Hate to admit it, but you're a good trainer. You hate to admit it, but it's the truth. Ah, uh, how lucky. I don't happen to be the one holding the DNA splicers. What's this buying time for the artist to escape? Cheerio, bye bye, whatever. Oh no! Ah oh, no! No, no, it's not your fault, Emily. You were impressive. It's me who let everybody down. Emily! A strange ship was flying toward Opelousa City, right? I saw it too. I'm en, r uh, I'm en route. Sharon, that's the plasma ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. Emily, if you run into any trouble, call me. So call me, maybe. Oh, if there were only two of me. Then I could protect the town and chase after them too. Well, that was very quick, Sharon. Emily! Drayden, glad to see you're, you're safe as well. Hello, Sharon. You've certainly grown. How are you filled in for Lenora by becoming the gym leader in a spiritual city? Thanks. We should we should save catching up for later. Have a good idea where Team Plasma is hiding. A place with the lowest temperature in the Genova region right now is an area close to Humilau City. Drayden, please protect the Blizzard City. Dave and I will find Team Plasma. Very well, I'll do my part, and thanks. The chase I'll leave to you, but don't do anything reckless. Emily, I could use your help, if you're willing. You're a skilled trainer who can, who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Graydon, we're off! Humilao City, huh? Is there, anything to the, is there anything to the north of Mandela Town? Emily, protect Pokémon from Team Plasma! All people should think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between people and Pokemon. It's not something Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone! No, they won't! Anyway, that basically does it for this for this episode or part or whatever A Pokemon Y2. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're heading out for back to Andela Town. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye!